All right, just got done replacing the brake fluid on this 2000 MXZ 440. And what I wanna do next is change out the chain case oil. On my 2002 Skidoo's, there's a little uh, drain, uh, like a set screw on the bottom, but I'm not seeing one on this, so that means I'm gonna have to take this cover off, drain it that way. I also wanna check the chain tension um, so we'll do that. So let's get this cover off and see what's, what's going on. So there's four bolts holding this cover on. I got, got all of them out. This one down here is a pain. So let's pull this out and here comes the chain case oil. So it doesn't look like this is gonna come out easily without removing this exhaust, and I don't feel the need to do that because I can look down in there and pretty much see that it's really clean in there. And the chain tension looks like it's pretty good. So I'm not gonna mess with that. And there's the oil, so it was worth changing. It looks kind of dark. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put this cover back on. The gasket looks in good shape. So I'll reuse that. Time to fill it up. So I always use 7590 synthetic gear oil. Uh, I've never had a problem using this stuff. It doesn't matter which, what brand you use. But I've heard of people using automatic transmission fluid. I'm sure that's fine too. I've just never used it. I've always stuck with the gear lube. So I think snowbills usually use about eight ounces or so. So we'll throw some in there and check the level. And it looks like it's to the top of the line, so the level should be good. Okay, that should do it for this video. Stay tuned, I got more projects for this thing. I got some new oil lines I'm gonna put on. And I got a tachometer off of eBay that I'm gonna install. And I'm gonna replace the, the pickup line that goes in the tank. So, got that and more coming. So thanks for watching.